What's up subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we have to talk about some updates regarding Ideonomic stock, ticker IDEX. We'll be taking a look at some recent news that has come out about the company and also how this has affected the share price. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you get notifications about our future videos talking about the stock market and personal finances. And while you're down there, be sure to check out the links in the description to get your free shares of stock from Robinhood and Webull if you haven't already. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. Since the last time that I talked about Ideonomics on my channel, we have seen the share price move up substantially up at one point to around $3.50 per share. This massive move upward came off of news that Ideonomics is strengthening its EV investments, announcing that they have reached a deal to acquire Wireless Advanced Vehicle Electrification, a provider of inductive charging solutions for medium and heavy duty electric vehicles. On Monday, Ideonomics CEO Alf Poor went on to say that the acquisition of Wave is a significant one for our EV efforts across the board. We are excited to bring Michael Mascalaire and his team into the Ideonomics family, where we can inject significant growth capital to enable Wave to further accelerate its business and bring wireless charging to our product offerings. Wave has become a market leader in inductive charging systems, which are much better suited for commercial EVs than plug-in charging systems. The acquisition of Wave is the newest addition to Ideonomics' strong portfolio, and in my opinion, is going to set them up to compete against some of the other EV charging companies that are starting to take market share, such as Blink, and as anyone who's been following my channel knows, one of my favorites, ChargePoint. In addition to the news about Wave, we also learned that Ideonomics has completed its acquisition of Timios Holdings Corporation, a nationwide title and settlement solutions provider that has become an innovator in the real estate title and escrow services industry. But despite the positive news surrounding Ideonomics, analysts continue to be skeptical, such as in this article by Todd Schreiber. In this article, Schreiber goes on to say that with all of these businesses, Ideonomics feels as though it's a small conglomerate but it might do right by its investors by honing its focus. Schreiber suggests that with the EV industry forecast to boom over this decade, Ideonomics may want to consider becoming a pure EV financing enterprise, potentially enhancing its credibility and appealing to a broader swath of investors in the process. Personally, I disagree with Schreiber. One of the things that I love about Ideonomics the most is how diverse they are. I will say that I agree with Schreiber that this decade is going to be huge for EV as a whole. And I believe that each passing year we are going to see EV become more and more mainstream. So with that said, I think that being a diverse business model is going to help Ideonomics in the long run in order to continue to gain market share. From a technical perspective, whenever we take a look at Ideonomics chart over the past few months, we can see that it has been on a nice steady uptrend. Overall, I do believe that we will continue to see Ideonomics share price continue to uptrend, but in the short term, we may have seen it run up a little bit too far too fast. So next week, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it pull back a little bit further to under $3 per share, and honestly, I could potentially see it pull back as far as to around $2.50 per share, but that's a little bit less likely in my opinion. In the short term though, it's so hard to predict what's going to happen in the stock market and where a stock is going to go. But I can tell you guys that in the long term, I continue to be extremely bullish whenever it comes to Ideonomics. While it is still a very small cap and risky investment, I believe that there is a ton of potential ahead for Ideonomics. And while I don't know where the share price is going to be one year from now, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't be surprised to see it trading at around $10 per share. What are your thoughts on Ideonomics? Is this a company that you're invested in? Are you considering investing in Ideonomics? Where do you see the share price going over both the short term and the long term? Please be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, if there are any other stocks or topics that you would like me to talk about in a future video, please feel free to comment that down below as well. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.